dick now. That's what they call it. Thirty with the dick? With the dick. Ah. Uh. You call your what? The clip is a dick? That's what they calling it. I'm not calling it. Dick. I didn't say you did. I'm asking what the streets are saying. That's what they said. They got dicks in hand. I'll play, I'll play song. They calling that bitch a tranny too. I'm crying. <laughs> Where has our African American culture gone, dog? Thirty with the dick. Thirty with the dick. Isn't that what Blueface started? I fuck with Rio though. He funny as shit. Blueface call his hammer a dick? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a hammer. I was cool with that. I, 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 I had a tool on me. I done heard about you know. like having a dick in his lap. Yeah, I done heard some of them say I got that. I done heard some of them. Uh, I got that big dick on me like. Uh, <laughs> I would rather be talking about your actual dick than you. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I got that big <laughs> dick on me. Oh my oh god. god. You have that shit on your back hip, huh? <laughs> you like niggas with big dicks on and your hip. on your spine. <laughs> <In it. laughs> Energizing your shit, huh? He got, he got scoliosis because of it. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but that shit is shame. <laughs> I, I, shit talk about. I got a big dick on me. I can never put say that in a whole sentence to somebody else. For real, I can never. I can't take you seriously. Yeah. I'm gonna go get my dick. <laughs> God, Man, dick. chill out, nigga. Like, yeah, I'll bro. go park this truck and pull my I dick out. Bro. We got this big dick on us, bro. We got this. Like, <laughs> oh, you can pull that in your pants. Hold that. I, I'm, I'm mad at you. I want to fight. <laughs> 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 Oh. For real, bro. I know everybody ain't know about this term at once, so it's like, I really want to know how this shit was introduced. By some gay niggas <laughs> that came out the prison. For real, bro. If you just bouncing with, like, and some dude was tripping, I'm like, don't even trip, bro. I got the dick on us. Like, you would look at me like, uh, oh. You gonna pull your penis out? Got the dick on us, nigga. No, I want your hands, got nigga. Got dildo in the trunk, like. <laughs> What if you what if your homie come on? Hey, bro, this nigga tripping, bro. At the circle, okay, he scuffed my shit. We gotta go get that nigga. I got. Let me get the dick real quick. Right? What? Get the dick. Are we pulling up on a nigga or on a chick. Got dick, bro. <laughs> I never th thought I had to bring a dick to see some niggas. Mm. Never thought I'd say dick before a fight. Mm. Mm. Let's start this podcast. We don't, we don't have to do all that. That's a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. Thanks for starting me up. You did. I did. Dang. Let's get it. Season two. I'm dickless right now. Dickless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a couple, couple inches short. <laughs> yeah, got stock dick. <laughs> stock dick in the wheel. <laughs> Stash the dick away. Get the dick overboard. <laughs> Get the dick out the glove box. <laughs> That's what a bunch of girls be saying too. I'm better than saying. I'm gonna pull that dick out the car. I got my got my own girl own dick. She got her own dick on her. She got baby dick. She got, <laughs> got that tool, she got that vibrator. <laughs> oh, she's like, hey, can I switch it? <laughs> my God. Let's compare dicks. Let's compare dicks. Mine go like zzz. I think it's like my dick go boom. That's the worst rap term. That could be that could the be a worst new rap, rap term I've ever heard, bro. I, I used to like, like listening to songs, like rap songs in the car with moms. Once I heard 30, 30 with a dick. Saw the baby talking about holding dicks. Right. 30 with a dick killed it. Come on, man. Let's yeah, start I don't want my mom to hear dick every three Let's seconds. Let's start this podcast. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go. It's the coldest and the loudest, and we're coming back stronger and better. Mm, mm, mm. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Brent. It's your boy CJ. And it's the coldest and the hottest. Back at your ass. It's season two. Welcome to LMR. <laughs> Walter. Oh. Walter. <laughs> I'm over here looking over here. Look, I'm, 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 I miss you. Taylor usually over here. Taylor's our camera girl for the day. For I'm be staring day. like a mom. For the day. Uh, uh, what did you say, Bane? Bane? Can't hear what you're saying with the mask on. Shut the fuck up. You know who this, you know what costume I got going on. Don't diss me. Bane? Bane? I was like, who are you talking to? Oh. I'm the richest thing that ever came out of, what was it? What was that show on? AMC? Walter White. Oh. Come on. Let me fan you. You said, what is that show, AMC? How many, how many shows have you seen, brother? And, why, why are we making a big deal of this? I didn't see the show, but I'm respecting them right now. What's the big problem? Have you even seen the movie? I saw the last half. The last half. And I'm a you fan. You ain't seen at least three episodes. I bro. know there's a bunch of people that are not Joker fans, 
all, all of a sudden wearing these masks. <laughs> I'm crying. Everybody's seen some form of Batman, brother. <laughs> Everybody sees some form of Batman. Got, there's a lot of people like me. I'm just I'm, everybody knows. I'm a bandwagon Halloween person. I get the hottest costume out. He the hottest nigga okay, out. Okay, there's okay, so okay. many forms of Batman. But I'm just saying, Snoop Dogg out here wearing the Joker mask. You don't think Snoop <laughs> seen Batman? Don't like Batman? Huh? You saying Snoop Dogg don't like Batman? I know that nigga is not a comic book nerd. So what the fuck you got that shit on? Snoop old ass has seen at least three Batmans. (laughs) I could bet that. Okay. I could bet that. I'm just saying it's a hot, it's a trend. I can't even see. Snoop old ass has seen about three Batmans. Sweaty as hell. I'm starting I'm starting this podcast already hot. Uh, I ain't even talked that much. Bro, what is that helmet, dog? He got cancer. Somebody <laughs> Brandon told me just shave oh, your so shit. So that's supposed to be like a ball that's shit. That's supposed to be the ball oh, clicking. Yeah. You got a condom on your head. <laughs> you got an oh, egg. Wow. 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 I look like a whole condom. Wow. We're going know what here. What the fuck that was? You didn't know he was bald and you watched the show? I knew he was bald, but like it was just it was wrinkled and stuff, so it was just stupid. Hey, like his head, it's wrinkled. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> the Walter White don't got no wrinkle head, bruh. Okay. That nigga got a box head like Wally. <laughs> <laughs> On everything I love, he got a white box head like Wally. But overall, how am I doing? I, I'm better than Taylor. You don't even know. She look like she about to go out. She supposed to be Jordan Bond Strangle over there. <laughs> Couldn't tell. She looked like a fucking, what is it? All lot No, not all lives matter. I won't Destiny's do that. Child. <laughs> <laughs> won't say all that. Ugh. What's wrong with Destiny's Child? No, I said all lives matter. <laughs> all lives. Oh. I skipped up. I skipped up. I won't do you Charlie's life. Angels. <laughs> Cut the boots. She looked like she in boot camp. I don't, I don't really do her costume. I changed my costume. I'm just nappy headed Aaliyah now. You changed it mid mid podcast. Just changed it. Just changed the hey, hairstyle. It's not Halloween yet? She could change up. God For real, it's only the 26, 27. But shit, we're in Halloween form. Is this one of your guys' favorite holidays? It's up there, top five. I like Halloween, but I don't really get too much into it. I just like to watch it. You're not, you not. Like you were a big fan shit. as a kid. That wasn't a, a top five. Yeah, I dressed up, but as a kid, I done had some yeah. cold, some cold ass costumes. Spot, oh Michael, shit. Jeff. What was your favorite costume of all time? Probably the SWAT, but the SWAT I was young as fuck. D- okay, this is not my. But favorite. I had the helmet and all. This is not my favorite Can't. costume, <laughs> but I got the most candy that night. I was three people. I was Medea. Oh, I was Freddy Krueger. Mm. And I was Scarface. What was you switching every three blocks? No, because I was, huh? Uh, All at once. Because I was trying to be different. I'm like, all you motherfuckers are one thing. I want to be everything at once. I want to be everybody. So Tyler Perry came out with Medea that year. That shit was funny. Threw on the wig and everything. Seen Scarface a bunch of times. Had the Tommy gun. Freddy Cougar was my favorite person. Had the glove. And they were like, damn, you really did it. So they were throwing me extra candy when other kids would leave the, because you tried more. So, okay. I used to get extra candy just for talking to them. What? Some people would just get candy and cut. I was thank you, appreciate. It. Oh, what, what is? Oh, you? Oh, whip? Oh, build? What's that? You started connecting with people's homes? Hold on, hold on. Is that a, is that a couch for my kid? You doing it, Mr. Johnson? I see you. What? I see you. We got Twix. What? <laughs> you be trying to get an extra more candy? Finesse. That's how you got it. Network. Come back three days later. Like you remember I got the Snickers, bro? Oh, let's break the game down. If you want to get the best candy, you got to go to the rich neighborhood. You got to drive, but you got to make that drive. You can't be out there going out with niggas that live like you. They Well, I was trying to go out with apartments with my mom. My mom's like, what you doing? They they struggling like us. We ain't going to eat out here. (laughs) Drove down the street, got busy. (sighs) Got busy, got the king size. Val Vista Lakes. Val Vista Lakes. Stop talking. I'm in there. <sighs> they out here chilling in their boats and shit. Ah, oh, candy for all. <laughs> for real, king size. We'll be back. It was some <laughs> giving out. It was some that would give out popcorn. Ours was on Sunday. Like a full thing of popcorn. And those rich ass neighborhoods. Sometimes they had a, one of those. Uh, they did the movies 
out in a little cul-de-sac. Like some oh, people will come out in the garage little, and yeah. trying to flex. Trying to flex. <laughs> and I do more in my neighborhood projector. than yours. You out here giving out candy. I got a whole ass thing. I got a theater. We watch movies. Over here. Hell yeah. Watch. Trying to look like neighborhood watch. When got you got your extra chairs knowing they got three kids. What was your favorite candy? <laughs> Uh, shit, I'd have to say probably some Skittles, uh, mm. Spree, mm. all the chewy you shit. Like the, you like the sugar stuff. I like the chocolate. Fuck the chocolate. Snickers. I like chocolate to an extent. Snickers, yeah. every day. Twix, Snickers. have no, to. No. Kit, Kat, Kit Kat in my back pocket. Reese's, forever. You melting that motherfucker. <laughs> back what? pocket? Kit Kat, it's easy. That's Ooh. a... Pulled it out. It came out like this. That bitch was already broke. <laughs> I'll be hot when my shit melt in my pocket. Oh, oh, why did you have the curvature right? Did you throw away the wrapper or did you lick it? I licked it. You gotta lick it. I'm already knowing. You got done bad can you like fuck. I, I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> well you got doo-doo all over your hands. You gotta get up out of there. You ever had some chocolate piece all over your hands and people questioning you? Like what were you doing in the back room? Like, I was eating candy, nigga. You just <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. I remember I used to get my candy the day after I would trade with everybody I had this one friend named Romeo this Mexican cat I just moved out here he's like you want to trade candy with me I'm like yeah 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 Yo, hey, he, he's like, oh bro he gave me his Mexican candy bro had me Ooh. a fucking lollipop with a scorpion in it I'm like yeah no I don't want that Romeo I don't want that <laughs> Romeo they trying to trying to kill you. Yeah, I don't want that. I was like, bro, my mom told me about those people like that. They put razors. They people put... look at me crazy because I don't like the, uh, this one, a sleeper, the caramel apple uh, lollipops. Oh, so good. You like those Mexican candies? Oh, like with lollipops. the bugs in it? Not with the bugs in it, but with okay. the spicy shit, give it to me. Nasty. No, nasty. Oh, Lucas. Let me have a Lucas. Let me have a Lucas. Let me have a, oh, me have a calipator. What? Lucas is weak. Oh, yeah. I was like, bro, they trying to infect you, bro. Throw that away. He's like, no, nah, that's what we do. That's that shit smell like some seasoning. Why is you taking seasoning and licking it, dog? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Take it back. Licking seasoning. <laughs> For real, like a push pop. <laughs> Putting it on the back of your palm. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. That was the thing. Like as a kid, Halloween was cool. It was just to get candy. Now Halloween's who could be the sluttiest? <laughs> it's, it's a whole other thing. I remember I was a kid. I was like, Mom, why you why you trying to be the like? Why, why what's Halloween for you? Like it's like she's like she over here look like it's date night. Uh. Halloween's a whole other thing when you get older. <laughs> whole nother vibe. Oh. <laughs> I'll be looking at the my childhood so, characters different. That one day of freedom could get away with murder, whatever get, you wear. Get away with fucking murder. I've seen what is it, Pocahontas, in in a different light. I'm like, she had more clothes than that, Shawty. What you? <laughs> what's she doing? What we really trying to prove over here that you got it? I see Don't you. Don't even got the right shoes on. I got see. On, got on heels instead of wood tips. Bruh, I have seen these sluttiest what army chips? women. What, what you call them? What? Damn. Banana boats? I don't know. The shoes they used to wear have no clue. I feel like it's not that though. Baby canoes? <laughs> Baby canoes? Nah, man. Them little wooden shoes she used to wear. I remember, I remember uh, Capri. Remember that? Remember that one year I took you out. We we're supposed to be like a, I was like biker gang, like some robbers and shit. <laughs> and Capri was like, "You gonna let her with her titties out like that?" I said, I'm going to kick you some game, bro. Is she doing it for you? It's all good. I said, it's all good. He's like, bro, ain't no chick with me going to dress up like that. I said, I said, sir, it's one night out of the year. I can live with it. I can live with it. Because I was like, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing crazy, but Capri's eyes, when you came down, like, I, I, I had me my looking sister. at... Had me my sister. He's like, bro, my you going to... sister. You let my sister rock out like that. He literally said that. He's like, you don't let my sister go out like that, bro. Do I have to say something? I said, I got it, dog. Little nigga. Uh, <laughs> I got it, little nigga. If, anything, if anyone tries to grab her tatas, she get... She, I'm she, on it, I promise. She is on it. Because she's supposed to be with me. But yeah, man. Oh, it, right. I fuck with Capri. But Taylor <laughs> came down. I came up early. I'm talking to both of them. Capri was hot. Capri was on me like, what y'all supposed to be? Some robbers? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor come down. She bouncing. <laughs> bouncing. And Capri like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. 
Oh, shut it down, shut it down, turn he around. Said, you need a striped shirt. Fuck all that. <laughs> God damn it. He being extra. And I was fucking with his energy, but I was like, bro, you got me in a pickle right now. You want me to say this to her right now? Like right, right now. Bro, we damn near ready, bro. We just <laughs> got ready. Hour. She told me she was ready 15 minutes ago, we'll but now, hour. but now she needs another 10 minutes. You know how that go. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that goes. So I'm not gonna change nothing. You gonna tell? You want me to tell your sister to change? I'm gonna miss this party, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna make a whole nother costume, bro. You know how that is with girls getting their costume when they even trying to just go out for the day. Have you seen, Krista? Do you change like three or four times? Have you seen that? On the regular? Oh, this one. Well, yeah. I've seen oh. that. Yeah. Woo. She's changing the car. Woo. She's changing the car before we went to the house one time. Like, okay. Oh, oh, Taylor, oh. Taylor will throw oh. something on. What are you talking about? Ta you have changed in the car before we have going in the house. Because you don't like when I wear my shorts. She 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 had yeah. pants on, and then she's like, like, I'm like, I'm going to put shorts on, and then go in the house. Like, why are you just wearing something up? No, that's ah! to the shop. Relax. No, but like her Taylor, we would no. just be inside with each other. I'll be like, you had four different outfits and we wore them all. What's the difference? She's like, I don't know. I feel different in this one today. No, 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 no. Okay. Different outfit, different vibe. Uh, I used to be fat. I'm still figuring the shit out. <laughs> no, you can fit everything now. That's what makes me mad. We don't have those same conversations. It's, it's different. She's like, no, because she's like, uh, this don't Ron fit today. Used to change a lot, bro. That pisses oh. me off. <laughs> Wrong. Watching, watching your your spouse change <sighs> in the same outfit you've seen before and can we get wouldn't to you. even go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> change and then go back to sleep. <laughs> different outfit for dinner. Your brother's different. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to get to? What do you want to get to? Want should we just start off with the LMR question of the week? Fuck it. Let me rock. Let me rock. We got a new segment on this show called. Uh, LMR question, a let me rock question, a question that might divide the audience, but we're here to, you feel me, try to work it out. So yeah. <laughs> uh, but my one of my friends came up to me one time and was talking about a sh finding his soulmate, and that it's confusing out here to find someone specifically to you when you can connect with a whole lot of people. And how are you supposed to find your one and dial in the one and know it's just the one? And my opinion is you can have a bunch of soulmates out there. There's a bunch of people out here involving and growing just like you, and you might find someone along the way. But you can only have one to be in a sex successful relationship. There's a bunch of people out there that can be for you, but there's only one person for, that you can be with, if that makes sense. And I broke down here and he was like, yeah, it kind of makes sense, but like how, do, like, how do I grow? Like, how do I... Stop thinking about this girl that used to be or could have been my soulmate. How do I get off that? It's like, you just gotta, gotta live. If you holding on to shit from 2013, let's say, how the fuck you gonna let someone come in your life and grow with you today? But we can't really say soulmates because I just looked at the definition. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I did too. I did too. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. It says, what, what's your definition? <laughs> my definition. <laughs> Google's right. definition. I got Google's definition. The, we could have been on page the top of the charts. What's it, what it say? Pretty much say close friend or romantic partner. A, so not a, partners. So it really has to be one person. For like factual, for like, you can like like, like like me. You can connect with hella people. You can yeah. You can, like, you can laugh can with a lot of people. people. You can spend a good time with a lot of people. Have a what I would say down there being sync. But I feel like. Right. Only one person could really know you and know what you want, know what you need, or know how to help you. Or so you believe you can only have one soulmate. So if Fruit, God forbid gotta, Krista died tomorrow, you can't well, move on. Well, I'm, well, yeah, you I could see. move on, but I'm saying like, what, what are you I, saying? My thing. This is my thing. You, because this why this why well, you. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Because like, it'll be horrible. Because like I can't love Taylor the same way I love somebody else. I feel like it'd be different, but I don't know. I feel like it'd be a different type of love. Like, I feel because like, I feel like everything... Yes, it is. I feel like everything happens for a reason, so if she was supposed to be your soulmate for your entire life, she would be alive. You know what I'm saying? And some things so just... Then, some things just happen, some things happen out of your control. Sometimes you as a partner, you doing everything that you should be doing and your other soulmate is not. 
Mm-hmm. And you got to cut them ties. Like, I still love you, like, bro, but you ain't feeding you my still, soul. You still got to make it work. Just because it's like, oh, you're my soulmate. You still got to put effort in. You still got to put effort. And that's and sometimes people lose their soulmate because they get comfortable. Right. Hell yeah. You feel me? But so does that mean that they're doomed to never find someone that connect to like that again? No, it's not. That's uh, what I'm, that's my thing. Cause like the I way you have that, with that person is unique that. into that moment. Cause that's yeah. an individual person. Mm -hmm. Now this unique person that just came in your life, you have to have new experiences with them. Cause they're not the same person. Right. And mm -hmm. you can't compare them. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. So like you're right. There's supposed to be one person that's unique to you. But in that moment, in yeah, that time, in that moment, yes, that time, time. But, it, yeah, it if shit down. fall off the boat, goddamn it, <laughs> yeah, I do feel like with time, yeah. with whatever your process you need or whatever to heal, I feel like you can if you dedicate your time and whatever. Dedicate your time to yourself. Yeah, you can probably find somebody else, but it would just it depend on what happened or the circumstances. It it would take somebody else something different. I'll take it a step deeper. I, I feel hunt. like you can love the second person or third person maybe more than the first person or the second person because you maybe found somebody when you were feel me 18 but I, I really can't you put it different things. I really can't you require different things now you're 34 that someone feels you're, it just you're 34 now you with a different woman or a man I really and can't put a gauge on it though because I know me like I'll do everything I can in the time and yeah. what I'll say <laughs> I'll do everything I can with what I have and like my resources, you know, shit like that. Like, Explain what you mean right now. I'm trying to follow. I'm trying to follow. <laughs> like, I'm not rich at what I'll say twenty. So there's only so much I could do. So, much, but I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna do this and that. I'm, oh. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm thirty and I'm on and I'm so like, yeah, I'm gonna have more. It's gonna damn near like I love you, but it's damn near the same shit. I, I'm still the same person. I still got the same love. I'm just. I'm just in my bag. I grew up. Bag. So, I grew yeah, up. Yeah. So like, of course it's gonna look like more, but I feel like for me, I'm always like. I'm, I love everybody the same. I, 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 love I don't every, look at more, and I, cause I just try to treat everybody the same. I love everyone. The, I love everyone the same, but I love them individually. Like I love you yeah. for you. I don't. I can't compare my friends to each other because yeah. they're not the same. Yeah, but I they're will. They're not the same at yeah, all. But I, will, I will go hard uh -huh. for you and that other person the same way. Yeah, but it's just some, certain people I will dedicate my time more to. I will admit that. Like that's a. That's, 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 that's a duh. That's a like, and they gonna do the same thing to you. But I do love everybody. Yeah. Saying, you know? But just some people will get more of my time. And I feel like that's just real. That's just life. Like going back to the soulmates though, it's like if that person does fall out your life for whatever reason, you can still have that love with somebody else. It could be as strong as the other person, but don't feel mm. bad about it. Yeah. yeah. It's not like you don't have, you don't still have love for that other person. Yeah, it's not like you don't. It's just that you're not Shit here. Happened. Yeah. Not, the fuck am I supposed happened. to do? This new person over here trying to build, like, something wrong. <laughs> and shit, sometimes people can't do so much on their own or they feel like they need somebody else, but. And people feel guilty. They feel like they shouldn't yeah. love. They shouldn't, they shouldn't yeah. give themselves that opportunity to love. Now you like, you close yourself off like that because you feel like what you had mm -hmm. four or five years ago was it. That was my soulmate. I don't know nothing else. Yeah. Go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Go outside, you dumbass. I tried you haven't. You really haven't tried nothing. Like you feel me? I love Taylor, but I can say I love. I can. Uh, what is it called? I love her more than I did when I was eighteen. By far, I thought, oh, this was it. I love her. When I first said, I was like, this is it. I know everything about love. Uh uh. I learned more since going through the shit I've been going through, and I can appreciate it more. When I was complacent, nah, I couldn't. I could appreciate it like I do now. That's why I go harder than what I, what I would say, what, two or three years ago. You just put more shit in perspective. Yeah, you. yeah, you put shit more in perspective. I, I love harder. I, I grew, I'm growing with this. But, but yeah, I feel like you can have more than one soulmate out in the universe because God put great and unique people out here for all of us to, to connect. But at the same time, if you're going to be in a relationship, you got to be with one person. Can't be on... So Several what's teams. his pickle? Does he have somebody? <laughs> Cause I still don't get it, bro. No, no, the, the, the pickle. The pickle. Does he have two people? Does he have three options? No, the two? no. There's a lot of there's a lot of things. It's like it's like one. Um, I had I felt love before, and I don't know if I feel comfortable feeling new love again. This is him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people feel like they, they don't want to open their heart again. They don't want to feel heartbroken. A lot of yeah. people hate being in relationships because they mm -hmm. feel like they're always getting shut down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, that this is another topic I want to I want to talk about: how to date. 
So how well, how to date to find your soulmate and stop just dating just to date and just wasting your time. Because a lot of people are just out here thinking they dating, but they really just wasting their time. And then they just feel like everybody out here is the same, but it's really not. You just dating the same pool, dumb bitch. <laughs> You think it is? I think it's just as simple as that. You need a date outside of what you're used to. If you really want something, if you really want a different outcome, something different, you need to like, try something different. For like, for and me, bro, like, the same shit. If you keep trying and trying and trying, and keep trying the same shit. I feel crystal. I don't on, know how on, on you some expect level, a different but, result. But, but here, like this, like some people are comfortable That's the definition with definition of insanity. But no, though, some people are comfortable like with like having one type of like like you have you like what you like. Right? Yeah. You like what you like and you have a certain attributes that you like of a man or a woman. So if a new person comes in like, oh, this person likes sports, this person likes doing the things I like, but they're still different and unique than the other person, you can have that. They can be similar. That's not, that's not. <laughs> I think also the dating culture has kind of bred like a generation of people who like give up kind of easily. Mm-hmm. Mm. Even if, Talk even about if it. you're determined to date the same type of person, if you're only dating the same oh, type no. of people. It's getting from, spooky in here. You know, <laughs> 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 All our eyes just. I watched the whole, as soon as it started to move, I just watched the whole thing. Oh <laughs> it was just like slow mo. I was like, damn, there. But no, my, you know, on your point, well, my fault, we had, we had something fly around you the room. You can like what you want to like, but if you're dating the same type of people from the same town, it could just be the way they were brought up. It could be their basic moral values. You might need to go to the city to find somebody you might And I was thinking about price. that too. Some people date like a high school. They just date just in their high school. They don't know nothing else. Yeah. You only know these type of girls because this is the, this is the only school you go to. So when you go outside to a different school or go to a different state, oh, they do it a little bit different over here. It'd mm-hmm. be frightening, motherfuckers. Be frightening. They're like, I don't well, know I if I feel like I feel like that that frightening shit come with the social media because a lot of people don't know how to interact. Like, we see people all the time that we see on social media. Well, I don't, don't want to say we. I want to say people do and they don't say hi or whatever. They just, uh-huh. oh, I saw a whoop de whoop and then I didn't even say hi. But I'm going to go home and text her like, oh, right. was you here? Hey, saw you. Like, bro, like, okay, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so I you feel like a lot of it has to go with how we interact as well. So, like, mm-hmm. for like, or <laughs> we just don't have nobody man enough to just go up and just spit game or... It's a lot of people beating around the bush or being around the bush. That's what's talking like, about. Yeah, like, being around the bush and what they it's, want. It's, it's different yeah. now because like we older, so like we not talking to no one from our school. It's probably gonna be some random girl that came to SU from Kentucky or some random girl right. that came they here be Berkeley. Berkeley. <laughs> Berkeley. <laughs> nah, she can stay in Berkeley. I like no bitches from so Berkeley. Like, <laughs> <laughs> those cultural bitches can stay over there. No <laughs> want none of them. No, I can't find a soulmate in Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> but no, bro, it's just like, 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 so it's different, bro. You got like people in their different cultural backgrounds and how they do stuff, how they talk, interact. Yeah, like you're gonna grow really and you're gonna grow to... and go find different shit yeah. that interests you. I wasn't interested in podcasting when I was 16 years old. I didn't even know this was a, a thing. Yeah. Now this consumes me like a bitch. <laughs> so I don't even know. I like this is this is a whole new love and it's fine. You just gotta find new passions. Oh, well, I could, I could say to sports I thought I was a one person thing I was just doing sports that's the only thing I could you be successful all doing that's all football. I thought I was I wasn't using this at all I was like I, I, I'm, I could use my body and my body's gonna get me out of my situation my body's gonna help my mom my body's gonna help my he kids got out of bed like hey <laughs> and that back locked my, up on you boy. my neck and my back and that's like fuck I gotta find a new love quick that still puts that fire in me and that's podcast yeah. It's nothing wrong with that. I still love football, but I'm not doing football no more. Right. I'm about to move on and find something else. So all you skanks out there, men and women that feel like you can't find love because you had love before and you're not comfortable with these. Still, what is his dilemma? Just moving on in general. It can't. He can't, he can't find nobody. No, not can't. No, not 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 necessarily. Be, but being comfortable. Anything, but he's probably just in general. He's just thinking like. Well, this is just a common thing. I thought he got in the jam. It's a common thing. Like this is just a common fear people have now is like the indecisiveness of what if I'm stapling myself down to someone who's not my soulmate and locking myself off to somebody who could be. <laughs> or it's, is it's, or is this is all, all I got? Is this is this the love that I'm it's FOMO. I'm accustomed to? It's FOMO. Like this has been diagnosed for this generation. It's fear of missing out on something better. People can't even stay home without getting on their timelines just to see what they could have been a part of. So how could they do that in the relationships? Real rap. 
Ew. Ew. <laughs> okay. We got so many. We got a couple people that. Oh, y'all went out. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Talk to him, Taylor. I didn't know you were gonna spit that type of game. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so out here, everybody, I'm just trying to preach. First thing in the morning, ooh, what happened last what night? What happened last night? Yeah, yeah no, that's real. I, I've been a part of that, too. Like, shit, I ain't, I look. I look, but I don't, stories. I could never, like, feel, like, attached to that. Like, y'all went out, I missed yeah. out, like, ah. Yeah. Like, there is some shit that, like, events that, like, like if a, a, a festival or some shit come, and I'm like, damn, I missed out on that. But going out, like, I feel like parties and clubs is always going to be there. Yeah, so but like, but me, no, but everyone, like, but ever, you don't want to miss out on shit. Or sometimes you just, I don't know, like, there's sometimes it, been like, they've been like, just my gotta friends be an going event out, for me. and I wasn't invited, and I was like, oh, fuck, I wish I would have went. Like, fuck. Like, yeah. But you know what I mean? Even if I'm like a young nigga, like from three. Mm hmm. So that's just, that's that jealousy's real. Yeah, I don't felt that, but it's like, it uh, happens. There ain't too much shit I really. I just want to hone in that like, you got like you you can love who you want to love like doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You you just gotta be able to move on and just be able to let someone come in. You can't close that shit off. Like my dad. Okay. Sorry. I was just say I just see my dad like my dad's fixated on my mom like he lost her years ago and he can't fucking move on and he's still focusing on my mom like bro you gotta grow the fuck up. Like, my mom is out here doing, like, she been got her master. She been got a house. You still doing the same shit. Why she left you? <laughs> so, my dude, you, it's over with. You have a kid. You have kids with the, that, her. That's fine. You got to grow a relationship with me and Bryce. That's that's your main job. That's what you have to do. You got to move on and find a woman that's going to complete you now. Trish. Stop holding Stop holding on my mom My mom done with Shit be old news I be hearing my grandfather Talk about my grandma and Where your mom at Where my kids at Like bro I don't wanna hear it bro mm -hmm. He be like I wanna see you bro I wanna see you bro Well that's a different conversation You wanna talk about the same shit bro <laughs> That's a different same conversation Same shit bro that's It's old news bro That's a different conversation <laughs> Oh we gotta talk about our fathers On this podcast No <laughs> <laughs> We gotta talk about our fathers no. We gotta talk about our fathers What you wanna talk about Hell like You feel me like but our father's like reconnecting with him because like I ain't gonna be a whole like I'll hate my dad sometimes but I wish I had a relationship with him like, I can't not think about bro that's real hey. that's everybody is but the I nigga, feel like that's humane yeah but like people be like no 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 fuck that nigga fuck that nigga <laughs> nah but bro you wish like, you, you really wish, can't say fuck him because then you wouldn't be here so like you want him here so what the fuck is it <laughs> always gonna be a piece that's gonna be like damn you know that's always been my dad I wish yeah so but it's like but, but it's but, like but. some shit you can't account for or make them do unless they do it themselves so right. it's like gonna, I'm, either, I'm gonna keep hurting myself and feeling this way because I'm of what sure. they got going on or doing but we or, gonna but we gonna have uh, a fathers we gonna have a we gonna have a talk about our fathers it's not even that <laughs> we gonna have a talk about it don't need to be that extended bro. no 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 the no, only reason why is cause like the way my mom preached to me and my brother like transformed the way I looked about my dad Cause I was on some fuck shit I did not talk to my dad For like two or three years mm -hmm. And I was like bro Fuck him I feel better knowing That I don't love him But that shit was hurting me And that went to Taylor Cause I felt like People uh, Even they say they love me Don't even love me And I was And that reflected back on Taylor When she was trying to feed in And try to love on me I was refreed And I'm like bro My biological mom Didn't even give a chance on me My dad ain't gonna give a fuck about me Like what the fuck Like ain't People stealing from our family It's just me My grandma and my brother Like anybody else Fuck them For real Like ain't nobody really love us So if you really love me Show me And Taylor was But I was still kinda Like she Like she Cause when um When Taylor would like Critique me or whatever I'd be like Oh she finna leave me Like everybody else Shit I did fucked up again. She gonna leave me. I had this like, uh, so I'm like, I'm gonna push away. So when a little bit, so when she do leave me, I ain't gonna be a bitch. I'm gonna be strong. Like I'll bounce back. But now when my mom like checked me, it was like, bro, you gotta just let some things grow and you gotta just talk to your pops. That shit helped me love Taylor more. Talking you, to your dad? Yeah. You, you will be astounded about some shit that when you talk to your pops, you will learn a lot about yourself and things that you going through. Cause that's what not, he, cause that's your, that's that's half of you. Not for me. I don't damn near, I don't have, bro, my uncle and my aunt done raised me, so it's just uh, like. But I feel that to the max, but like so that's still, like, that's still, that's still your lineage. So that's, when you have kids, that's your, that's your grandpa. That's their grandpa. Still, that, that's that's like, them that's, though too. Still, but like that's not, gonna, I feel like that's not going to play a huge factor in how I'm formed. 
No, no, not well, how about kids form to even. So. No, not how you kids form, but how you how you be a better father. Like me, like if I want to teach forgiveness to my kids and I can't forgive my pops, they're gonna look at me like, bro, you you can't do that. Like, how how you gonna tell me this and you gonna have this nigga hurt you? That's not even in your life. Like, there's some people that have their dads. They're the reason why they ain't where they at because they father. A lot of people have that guilty ass mindset. For real. I did too. I was like, bro, the reason why we ain't where we at because my dad ain't giving us 150 a, a month. The fuck? I'm out here wearing the same clothes. I'm out here getting joned on. This is but, your fault. But I feel like it's, everybody's situation is different. I feel like it's real situational with this shit. It's so real simple, like, but, but my thing is like bringing, especially like African Americans, we the we are not close to our families. There's a lot of motherfuckers that are single parent households. Yeah. So to rekindle that motherfucker, I feel like we, the sons, gotta go back and fix. We don't have to go back and fix anything. It's not our job. We are the no, son. No, 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 we no, 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 I'm a son, but now I'm a man. I'm not 12 yeah, years old no more. Yeah, I'm yeah. not 12 years this old no true. more. This that's is true. This is true. But my mom's like, if you want to find so you got to talk to this nigga. You got to talk to man to man. Tell him how he, he made you feel. Yeah, like, to an yeah, extent, you give him an opportunity. Oh, we talking about this now. You, we really talking about this now. Hold on. Bro, bro, bro you keep going in, bro, because I... Opportunity, you put it out there. Yeah, you give him an opportunity, bro, and based off of that and whatever happens in that time lapse or whatever, how long y'all... Well, y'all, I'm not saying, I'm not saying test a nigga for a week and see. I'm just saying rock with, bro. If, like, like, just kick it, then if some shit go down... Would well, it, yeah, but like, like, I remember, like, you telling me, like, bro, when you when you went back to your pops, right, for those three months, you rekindled with your dad. You never yeah. thought. That's what I'm saying. That's the shit. That's the shit that I want with my dad. Well, I can't hold that. I can't be like, oh, I don't want to hang out with this nigga. When I was crying, when I was seven, wishing I would throw a football with that nigga. That's all I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. like, and yeah. I want to do that with my son, too. So I want to make, I want to, uh, and I want my son to have a relationship with his grandfather. Mm-hmm. And my mom, I was like, because I was like, why do you, I was like, mom, why you want me in a relationship with this nigga that don't obviously care about us? Like, he do, but he just don't know how to express it. He don't know how to live his life. You have to go out to him. You got to be a bigger man. And my auntie did that with her father. My my grandpa was a deadbeat. My grandpa used to beat on my mom, my grandma, used to shoot at her and shit. Like, shit that you shouldn't even see my mom and my auntie did. And my grandma said, you still have to have a relationship with your father because that's your father. Not really though, mm. but it's it's really it's it's a choice, bro. No, cause no, cause no, cause no, cause she, cause no, cause he cause didn't do he, nothing bad to them. He uh, it was more so my grandma. So when my my auntie, yeah, but you hurting somebody I love, and that's a yeah. part of me. So I could really give a fuck about you at that point. If yeah. someone laid hands on my mom's, it's bad for you. I, I, I could man, give a all fuck. me, all me, I but all me. But my but my grandma's not no victim. My grandma was no. You feel me? My grandma's like that happens. We moved on. He wasn't hitting on her after the fact. He figured, he figured out quick that my grandma was no chump. So when he left her, when my grandma left, he was like, oh, I don't have this power like I thought I had. Yeah, if people deal with shit different, but I feel like, I, for me, I would never forgive you for laying hands on I don't, I'm, I got I have to forgive. Cause my, my mom, if my mom did and she was the one that got hit, who the fuck am I? Yeah. And she wants me to have a relationship because she knows how important that is because she knows I'm a man. She can't do the same thing. She can't teach me the same things as this man can. It's, and my dad, even it, through his actions, not through his words, through his actions, make me like, okay. I learned a lot from my pops from just, just listening to this nigga. And I'm like, but I feel like you can learn from a lot of different, what I want to say, male figures. Like, I learned a lot from my uncle, and he ain't, he ain't no dad. I understand like that. that, but like, if you want a person, for me personally, if you want a relationship with your dad and you want that, don't, yeah, don't, don't expect, trying. you older, bro, don't expect yeah. some shit to come to you. Go to it. If you want to find love, find it. And it's like, like yeah, offset, yeah, yeah. offset. I mean, keep it, keep it fifty fifty. Like, don't go so out of your way that you start tearing yourself down, because that's what uh, a lot of people do. Like, uh, they keep they those start going out their way, and then expecting to get something in return, and they don't, and they start hurting themselves because of it. And they keep trying, and keep trying, and keep trying, yeah. trying to make them do something different, but it's not working. Very so true. They start Very doing true. whatever to themselves because they're not getting the results they want. I feel like it's baby steps. It's babies because obviously this nigga wasn't in your life. It's not like you're going to talk mm -hmm. for a two days straight and these 23 years that you missed out of my life is just going to... No, it's just, it's a different conversation. I'm your son, but like I'm a man now. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking, we, we having different conversations. You're not schooling me like a little nigga. you school me like a man. Like we talking about... But relationship we talking about family shit like I want you around my kids I want you around my wife and I want I want to feel weird at the wedding right 
You feel me? And you and you out and acting a fool. And you feel I'm 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 easy with you and my mom around. Like no, we gotta be cordial. You were cordial enough to make us. You were cordial enough to be around us. I I could I could feel a lot that you're saying, but I don't think it's very much that I can learn from my dad at all. Well, not now, but like you can learn the re the reason what what he did as a man or what he's still trying to be as a man because it's not you you still growing every day. You can't stop. But you know how to apply that to your family. So your family won't uh, break. What do you mean apply that to my family? He didn't keep our family together, so what am I learning? What do you learn? Oh, uh, uh, Everything I've learned, I've learned through myself and going through it. So I'm just make sure it don't happen with the next generation. Understood. But like it's like it's like that closure type of thing. That's just, that's just, I mean, it, like, it's fucking it now. We older. So it's like, no, not, it, I'm, I'm me. I, I, done, I done did this and that in the third and came here this long. So well, I'm like, talking about the conversation, like, like, like you having you with your dad. Like, I want to be close with you. The reason why I'm not, the reason why I don't call, the reason why I don't pick up is because the shit that you did to me, my mom, my brother, this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro, I love you. I really, really do. This shit eats me the fuck up and I need this to stop. Yeah, depending, and my, depending and my, on how that go is how you make your decision. And right. and I, bro, so, and my dad is still not. He is he's better than when he what he than when I was eight. My my dad cussing on the phone, cussing out my mom. You feel me, calling her bitch and all that. What is shit? He way better than what he is now. It takes time, but I know. But I know my dad loves me. Mm-hmm. I know my dad loves me, so he trying like a motherfucker, man. and he respects how I'm coming to him like as a man. I know I could I could bet that your dad loves you, even yeah. though, duh. That's what I'm saying. That's just important. And and have a relationship with, I believe your the father. Your father is important. Don't have to be as, as deep as your mom's. Yeah, they, I feel like everyone. It, but it, but it like, could be better. I feel like there's everyone in your family should pretty much ideally be important. But I feel like depending on whatever conversation or. Conflict or adversity y'all we, face, we, we, depending on how y'all take care of that, it's kind of how like I found I found myself in a weird situation where like I was talking to my dad and then like I I asked him a question and it just kind of came out random and he helped me and I was like fuck that was weird mm-hmm. and it was like I don't know how that relationship with you when you sat when you were with your your pops for three months but seeing him and seeing how this move like did you not learn at anything not like not like life changing shit but like I mean, like, yeah, he was cool. He was kicking it. We ate food. We pretty much did what you want to do with your dad. I mean, I saw him. He took care of his lady. So that's pretty much what you expect. Uh, I don't know. Pretty much just typical shit, but... I say it's like it's it's me trying to have a relationship with my father that I never had before and helping him be a better I, I want to be a better son to him and I want him to be a, a better father to me so I I'm doing things and he's doing things to to fix that so that's what I'm saying so if my when my I want to I want I want to have a great relationship with my son but I can't be no punk and like be like I'm a son too I want a great relationship with my father I shouldn't cheat myself out of that Mm-hmm. It, even even if my man is really trying though too, and my dad is a lot, a lot, and I can see your brother trying because shit, but he needs he he he's still working on things. But I'm glad I'm I'm talking to him. And I feel like niggas should be able to talk to their dads and be like someone you can like relate to. Yeah, I feel like everyone. Cause like, cause like, it's crazy. Not. It's crazy to think like that they think the things like you, you and your dad are similar to. I'm like, fuck. Me and my dad are more similar than I thought. I better change my shit around her. Then <laughs> you feel me? My mom was over here telling me you got a you got a very bad temper, Brent. You gonna fuck around and be with your girl, and you gonna yell, and you gonna fuck around, and throw some shit. You better stop that. Shit. I get mad. I'll throw shit, punch on wall. You better not do that in front of your girl. She don't, she don't, she don't feel so weird about it. Your dad used to do that. I'm like, huh? I ain't gonna do that around my girl. what I do? what I do the other day, uh, two weeks, three weeks ago, tell you, I pushed the fucking uh, chair down. I was screaming. She, huh? I've never seen you do this before. Dramatic as hell. Dramatic. I was pissed off. I'm, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and I'm like acting like my father. I remember that shit. My father's I watch. 
My father's watch. And I remember that shit. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, hold on. Hold no, on. Like, I feel you on that. Like, yeah, you want to break bad habits, but I want to break I want to break the cycle. To, bro, because, like, nobody in my family. It seem like you have to go back and learn from your dad to do that. Well, it's my, my thing is bringing the I family feel- together. Yeah, you want to bring your family together, but still, again, I feel like that's not your job. Like, yeah, you can reach out, say what's up, and just that. It's my job third, now. I'm a man. I'm it's trying not to create a job. I'm creating a family, and I'm also trying to build my family up. Because yeah. there's, no, there's nobody in my family, outside of my auntie, my uncle, that have a successful relationship that I see. And my uncle wasn't giving me game like that, like how to treat your girl, how to do this, how to. No, no, I wasn't getting no game. I was out here blind as fuck. With Taylor and out here learning every day by my fucking self, and I wish I wasn't doing that. So when I had my kid and he come up to me, like, oh, I, well, I got this girl now, Dad. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I'll be ready for him. I'll be ready for him, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pre- much do what you learn. Pretty much do I learn, but as of as of my, my dad, he still got game. He's sixty years old. He's seen some shit. He been through some shit, and he's, and he's, I'm not gonna lie, two or three times, because we're able to talk to each other, he's helped me. Cause the com, cause the com, cause I'm, I'm able to sit down and actually have a conversation with my dad. 12 to 15, I would say, fuck that nigga. He, don't, don't bring him around here. <laughs> don't bring him around here. I wanna kill him. You touched on my mom. You over here broke the family. You can't pay for shit. You're broke. Like, <laughs> I was resenting this nigga, but it's like, no, I, I, I love him. I love him. I love them. It's like, let's stop, let's stop having that hate and just really just love. I feel, like my, I feel like I never really ever hated my dad. I, I always had a relationship with him, but like, like, yeah, my parents did split up, but my mom never really was trying to say or do anything to make me feel like I got to have a negative opinion towards him. That's pop, that, That's good. That's good. So like, it was always just my, my choice or... So, so for real, for real, like, I, we just really stopped talking recently just because, like, he just, like, I don't know, I, I just said what was up. And, like, um, just the way he took it and what he said back was just, like, it just threw me off. And I was just, like, I just didn't want no parts. <laughs> so I just, just kept it pushing my way. I dig it. I dig it. For real, like, if I, if I try to come to you as a man and I'm not saying nothing out of pocket, it's respectful, it's... And then what you respond back is just kind of, you sound like, what don't say, upset and defensive or whatever, or I'm going to just look at it weird and just be like, all right, well, this is just... What are you talking about? For, what do you mean? If it's too much, bro, mm-hmm. I just don't even want to, I don't even want to do hey, it, bro. I, I've had the same oh, conversation too, with my it's, dad. It's, no, it's too I, much I, energy. I, I look, well, shit, I want it, bro, because I know that I'm a better man for it. If I have every, uh, if, 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 I, if I have everybody in my circle... At least cordial and loving. Like I, I hate the fact that my dad can't act all the way cool around my mom for fifteen fucking minutes. That shit makes me mad. Like make me want to fight, bro. But it's like I, I, I don't want that. I want my kids to be around loving people. You're not gonna see the same shit. You're not gonna see hate or disgust. You're gonna see respect. My, my dad's gonna respect my mom before he die. I know that. I know that for a fact. My mom got too much respect for him, and he beat on her. She still let us see him and want us to talk to him because she know how that, important that is. I feel that, but you don't need to bring all that together at once if that's what it's going to cause. No, I'm, like, I'm not trying to bring my mom and my dad together. My mom want me to be no, good with I'm him. saying, if you got a family event, you're going to bring your dad to it and he can't even sit still 15 minutes. To get him the fuck out of there. I will, I will, I will, <laughs> but you got to work to things like that. I'm just not going to throw him in the fire today. Like, hey, everybody come. No, it's going to be bad. I got to work into that. Gotta work into that. And I feel like when you have a better relationship with your father, man, that's just, I can say person, that's just, it's groundbreaking, bro. I have less stress. Like I said, I love Taylor Boy. I let Taylor love on me. Because before, I wasn't feeling that before. Now I am. And I have a lot of shit. I'll tell you, bro, I can tell you, there's a lot of shit that my dad did to me and I, I, I did not even know and that I, I still hold on to that if I didn't get that shit figured out, it was going to be bad for a kid. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't hate my dad, but I don't know. I just I can speak from I can speak from experience. I hated that nigga. And I did not I talk. I had some. I done had some. I done had a lot of times where I'm like, oh, I can't fuck with dog. <laughs> <laughs> I done had a lot of times like that, but like I don't know. There's been a lot of times where I've been so understanding. And now it's just like I just kind of annoyed, so I just had to get. I just had to be to myself. 
and just kind of just and, I, and I, it's but it's like but the bigger picture though is like a lot of us grew just up with our moms a lot of a lot of my my friends that happen to be black happen to just be with their moms. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a lot There's nothing of, wrong it's with that. But here's the cycle. Men. Here's the cycle though. Then these niggas get into relationships. Then they have kids and they not with their baby moms. They got four or five baby mamas. That's not all. This is, look at LeBron, bro. No dad, no nothing. Look at him, bro. He pretty much well. That he's a one of a million. He but how many? But how many I'm talking about example, regular families, man. though. How many? How many niggas you know that don't have their dad in their lives? Be for real. Shit, I'm trying to think who I talk to that <laughs> that's black that don't have a dad. Hold on. Okay, I know. Damn, they're all I my closest you, friends you. do not have their dads in their life. Damn, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to name at least one. I know, I, I know some black person with their dad at least. Everyone on your football team, everyone's grinding because of your dad. Fuck that nigga. I'm about to be on for my mama. She came from the mom. She was giving me the fuck ass cleats. We gonna make it, mom. I'm gonna put the bins in the, in the whip. I'm gonna buy you a new house. That's what all these niggas talk about. Yeah, but it's really just like, but I really look at it like I was raised by raised by women and my uncle. I was raised by my aunt and my mom. So it's like, bro, how the fuck can you not respect women? So it's really weird for a lot of these dudes to grow up by their moms and really be off here crazy with different women. It, no, it's no, it's literally a fucking cycle. Oh, it, you just it, it just know it's a sense. cycle. It don't make sense. So. No, it's a cycle. When you don't understand the lineage of your family, when you see fucking nobody getting married, you ain't. It's not. It's just stop to say like, bro, what's what's the, what's going on with us? Why can we not hold nobody down? Why everyone everywhere? Why does so I see all these other families when I moved out here? I'm like, y'all, all your parents are together. Everybody, like all your cousins come and see y'all. Like, what the fuck? Like bro, it's different over here, bro. No, it's it. They, his dad over here, his sister over here, different mom. Woo do woo woo. But their families are so fucking tight that they'll do anything for each other. We need that in our shit. There's so many beefs. We need that, bro. But I, I really don't feel like going back and trying to. Well, that's how you do it. Some shit is that's going. That's how you do it. Going to fix work. nothing. Well, that's how you do it. If you want to break your cycle, you gotta be the one with you, and I'm gonna be the one that breaks the cycle. I'm gonna figure out. Yeah, you break the cycle by your generation starting some new shit, forming some new shit, showing new shit how to do the right shit. Understood, but you can't. But it's like blind leading the blind. Like there's a bunch of us out here. How think- is it blind leading the blind? I feel like there's some the the man in the household for especially for a young man is huge and when you don't have that you can go off your own thoughts and thinking and think about it you're 22 years old you haven't lived shit and you're going off your understanding of the world not really. I'm going off that's what crazy. I've learned from from 22 years experience. That's from, crazy. From 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 what do I want to say? From men that's been around me. I'm not, just but, not, but I'm okay. I'm talking about B. There ain't no nigga this, in my life. There was there was but no nigga in my life. From somebody else. You just learned. From I was learning else. from Kobe Bryant. Just work hard. That's, but why? You learn from Kobe. Just it's not how you learn how to take care of one from Kobe Bryant. No 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 no. I'm trying to learn how to be a man. Like, be a man, like, just be Tell tough. Tell me, Brian's not going to teach you how to be a man. He'll teach you how to be a good athlete. No, I'm talking about, like, those are the niggas that inspire me. Like, you feel me? Master P, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. He yeah. inspired me. Jay-Z yeah. inspired he me. Inspired you to work hard. Inspired me to work hard. Inspired to, to get my bread up. Inspired to get my money from my family. But still, like, s- s- still get money for your family. St- get money, period, is not going to teach you how to be a man. In my opinion. Facts. Because you got to get money regardless. Facts. So that's a given. So I, I can give a fuck about the money. It's deeper. So when I go talk to my dad and my mom. What what happened with me me and your mom? My, my mom. What's going on? That's, I know the re- I know part of the reason. Why, what, what were the some reasons why you weren't man enough in this situation? For me, I could really care less because I just feel like I can learn a lot from a lot of men that's doing right around me. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to be around them for a ton of time for me to learn a couple things. I could go to a a, a decent black man's kitchen and <laughs> decent black man's kitchen like or I, let me just say like uh, a dip let me just say like a black family's home and if he's got a, he's he of course got a wife kid I could just see like if he's taking care of his wife he's making sure she eat he's being respectful he's take picking up his son like they Okay, okay, this is how a decent black home should look. Okay, they in sync, they talking, they communicating. Right, right, right. I'm Food, I'm okay, they not tripping. All right, cool. 
My thing is I could just learn off of that. I don't I feel like going back to my dad and trying to unravel some stupid shit that happened back then that I was damn near I don't know what the fuck going on right now. I probably don't want to even know twenty years later because it still don't matter. So like I could really care less. But yeah, we can try and form some new shit in a relationship, but I I could care less. If you going if you're gonna try and put your foot forward and try and march with us, but and be cool, cool. But if yes. not, you're gonna be a problem, bro. I'm not gonna keep reaching out, bro. I'm, it's not my job. If if keep yeah. trying, like you and you are, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I I think my wording is fucking you up. Like everything you're saying, yes. My thing is trying to bring the family all together. Yeah, I would love to bring all the family together, but it's just like if he's the burden, like I, if if, I, if if you a burden, you're gonna have to be in a in a what I want to say. We're gonna have to meet you separate or something. Like I'll bring my kids to see you separate. Cool, but if you can't keep cool at the family events, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> Oh no 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 no! We're not debating there. If you acting an ass, you you, yeah. you gonna be outside. But it's like I won't hold nobody from you because like they don't they don't know about that. But okay, they'll still have a relationship with you. But don't teach them no stupid shit. Mm-hmm. You, but just be cool. Like you grand you grandpa. Teach mm-hmm. what grandpa do. Uh, kick balls and shit. And but that's what I'm saying. That's important. Cool. That's have important. that relationship. Yeah. But don't talk about nothing about me me and mom or how we grew. No. Start fresh. It's your chance to start fresh. It's like this, your, this your new start fresh, bro. Your new shit. All right. All right. <laughs> I can dig it. You, want, you know another tr- man transformed? Mm. Okay. Kanye West. And a lot of you niggas ain't respecting the grind and the effort that he out here doing. What's up? What's up, America? We, you, why? He, you cancel him every fucking day. He makes a God album. He makes, well, Jesus is king. He makes everything about our Lord and Savior, and now you're saying it's a gimmick. It's a it, he wants to just get money. He's broke. He needs this. No more pyramids. No more pyramid. I personally saw this as a man, honestly getting his shit together. I saw an interview recently, and he was like, "Man, my ego was the best of me," and I was like, "Kanye West said his ego, his ego was the best of him, and that's all we said to about him. He's just full of himself. Kanye's all about Kanye." Oh well, yeah. So now the new narrative is Kanye is all about God and what God can uh do for him and for us. And I'm like, shit, that's cool. It's better than him um screaming about um such a fucking hoe. I love it. Uh, y'all love that song too, right? Not y'all. Uh-huh. Oh no, I'm talking about I'm talking oh, about the media. I, I, I don't have three oh. friends that slap that shit ever. I'm just oh, I'm just saying I'm, 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 I ain't never heard, I ain't never been in a whip with that shit banging. No. Okay. Then my circle fucked up. Uh-huh. <laughs> I get in the whip that shit banging. He my said the devil is up. a lie. What the fuck? I did not want to hear that. Playing that devil music. Okay. But I feel like it was just a, a turnaround for that nigga Kanye, and it was good. It was good. It's good for us to see that. Even through all your bullshit, we can see someone to change. Especially how big Stick he is. Stick with it, Kanye. Shit, I hope, right. Stick with it. We'll see. Because Kanye getting old, bro. So if he transformed to some gospel rap artist, bro. He talked about it. He talked I'm about banging it hard on Sundays. He's talking about uh, <laughs> keeping it like this. Someone asked him, like, are we gonna are we gonna hear your other music? I'm telling you, bro, he'd be out in Philly, DC, and it'd be like little festivals on the piano. Sunday service. Just getting right, bro. He ain't gonna play uh, Good Life no more. He's not gonna play Gold Digger no more. He's like, he's trying to get away from that. He's like, bro, that was the old me. That was broke Kanye. When he was trying to <laughs> prove to somebody. Right. Now I'm, I'm trying it's to just prove my Because he was in that Lord. young mindset. Doing all the same shit everybody else doing. Now he getting right. Get but no, but, but this is my deeper question. Are, are you still I don't know what's my, what, what's my what was my question I was going to have for you because you listen to a lot of uh, I would say trap music well I said is that right <laughs> trap <laughs> shit that gets you geeked all genres oh uh, no all genre nigga where where where, where did what time him kill it hold on what time of day do you listen to all drum, all genres can I can I just ask Cause not in your car. Shuffle be crazy. Not in your room. He hated me. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, You know my life, huh? No, 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 no. I just drove with you a couple times. A couple times. <laughs> I just drove with you a couple times. What was, was the last time you went to the car? Uh, <laughs> in a minute. In a minute. In a minute. You better. You had the radio on. Oh. Uh, no ox. Uh, no ox. 
But I know if you had the chance, you'll have a song that's very loud and talk about some dicks. You, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, dick kill it, talk. Kill it. Got a dick on my hip. Ready to spray the clip. I want it now. What you want to hear in the whip with me, Brett? R. Kelly? That's um, what you want to hear in the whip with me? Uh, you want to hear R. Kelly in the whip with me? I'm versatile. Oh, don't even. Oh, I'm looking at you different. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, I'm talking about though, like this though, like this. Like Kanye's not making that music because he's trying to transform, right? I, I'm like thinking of this shit too, like all that like murder music shit. That's not really good for me, bro. Like it gets me in a mode, it gets me hype, it's yeah. fun to listen to, but realistically, it's not good. Gotta switch it up for my soul, right? You listen to this Kanye shit, you said it inspired you. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> you said you were bobbing. You said you were bobbing. Yes. Oh, yeah. You said it like I was about to wake up and go to church tomorrow. Oh. Like, I need to be in church, but like. <laughs> it's like I need to be in church, but damn it. Oh, my schedule. Oh, so man. I hate when niggas say they schedule. <laughs> you can talk to God anytime. What's wrong with your, your schedule? Is that packed? Oh. You could have given you can't give God an hour? You went? No. <laughs> can't stand you. No, I'll be like that too. My schedule, football, everything. 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 But no, nah, do you can you see yourself switching the music? Have you switched up your music? I have tried to lighten up a little bit. For real? And for what reason? Just cause like it just it's just starting to sound the same. For me, it started to sound the same and it was like this shit's not like motivating. Like I'm trying to well, live. It's, yeah, it started to sound the same and like the rhetoric, bro, like, you talking about fucking bitches and hoes all the time. When I was 19, yeah. 20 years old, talking about fucking bitches all the time, and I'd see a girl, like, damn, she bad, you know, what's the fuck on her? You're like, oh, shit, like, that's the music. Pull her, like, what, that T. Grizzly really, song? I just like some smooth yeah. shit that I could ride to, like, Rick Ross. I feel like he makes some, it's kind of explicit, but it's not too over the top, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yes. Like, it's a, it's a nice, subtle, real... Yes, but yeah. I can I can say though like music does like shape your life, and that's like when I was listening to the negative music and shit like that. But was, I feel like a lot of people just be trying to be like what they hear and see. So I feel like if that's all you hear and see and know, so it's like of course, especially if you don't have a father figure or any any uh, talk about any it. <laughs> talk about it. Have no men around. That's Not shit. even unk? They that shit. <laughs> Not even unk in this bitch? Yeah, you think about fucking hoes all the time, beating on niggas, like, not beating on niggas, stealing from niggas. You feel me? Doing the most wild shit. It's like, bro, that's that music right now, personally, for me, is like, not where I'm trying to be. I'm trying to create a family. I'm trying to get married. Like, I wish I could listen to Chance the Rapper's album. It sucks, but I wish. It's the shit I'm on. I'm trying to do. Not on this single life, fuck everybody shit. So I'm, I see myself moving from the music a little bit. Moving from that genre. I feel corny, though. Why? I don't know. I feel like music like shouldn't it. define you, so it's just, it's just what you slap is what you slap. I know, but to a certain Some point, it does. It's like, I, I get like tired corny. of hearing niggas talking about they popping pills. Like I, It's annoying. It's annoying, it's annoying as annoying. fuck. It's annoying <laughs> as fuck. You popping weak-ass pills. Plants over pl pills. <laughs> Plants over pills. Mm. But anywho... Like I can't, I can't hear about another nigga fucking a bitch or stealing your chick. Hearing that all the time, I stole her chick. Yeah, oh, you better watch out. She been with everybody. Like, <laughs> like, bro, where's she going? Where's she going? She with me, she fucking on the law. You be, I just dropped a bitch off. How my dick tastes? Like, <laughs> I just dropped a bitch. Off. <laughs> I'm not trying to hear this no more. That's all people want to live like too, bro. I'm telling you. That's I live like, live like the music. I can listen to it, and but then they living like the music and finding out that oh, this shit weak as hell. <laughs> Amen. Amen. To that. Or even trying to live like the music and the shit ain't working. Amen. Shit, I feel like the kind what Kanye's on is really helping me, and I feel like I can see myself listening to lighter music. I, that's why I'm listening to more R and B now. I love listening to Love. I always did. I just like the oldies. I just she put me on some shit. She put me on some shit. TLC? No, sir. Uh, Ari Lennox. Summer Walker. <laughs> who else? Who out here? Ma, 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 who? Why are you laughing, Josh? 
Just the way he said it. <laughs> Summer Walker. Why are you laughing? I just, that I just heard Walker like, from Walking Summer Dead. Summer Walker. I just heard Walker from Walking Dead. And it, just, it just echoed. Uh, there's some good R&B out here. That's the shit I like. I like listening to love songs. It, it feels good. That's the music that I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. So this reflects my life. And I like to hear music that reflects my life. I'm trying to search for God. Kanye's trying to search for God. I can, re- I can relate to it. I can't relate to Sada Baby. As much as I love Sada Baby like a motherfucker, I feel like he crazy at what he do. Mm-hmm. I can't listen to this 24-7 because this is not what I'm doing. <laughs> he on a different path than me. You feel me? But I can't listen to him all the time. I feel what my mom was saying when I was a kid. Like, you got to listen to what you... Like, you got to listen to other shit more. No, listen to... Like, really listen to what you listening to. Like, you talking about niggas right. fucking on bitch all the time. You going to fuck around and think like that. No, I'm not mine. No, I'm not mine. Okay. I'm out here in parties and shit like I'm hearing that music and I'm catching a vibe seeing my friends being single living the life and I'm like oh oh shit it's in my head those lyrics are in my head and it's like bro you you want to stay down what's the music that you really inspire what do you want to be what do you want to aspire to be Mm -hmm. like uh, like like Kanye I want to be transformed. I want to have all these urges leave me. I'm, you feel me? I'm a, I'm, I know I'm a, a sinful person, but I don't want to keep on feeding sinful shit in me. That's why I'm trying to ditch the porn. It ain't good for me. It's not helping me what I'm doing. I got to throw it away. So like this music, I, know I can't feed. It's not these niggas talking about all this shit, stealing from people, killing people. That's how you feel me? One of my, my leaders died, Nip. Our leader died, Nip, from some, some jealous shit. And I bet he was listening to that music before he came up. He made me listen to something like that. We'll Could have turned around. Won't we'll say all that. R.P. Nit. R.P. Nit. But you got a lot of niggas in their feelings feeling jealous off the, uh, and, and feeling hate and anger to the type of, type of music you listen to. You want to feel love and joyful and all that? Bob, no shit. Listen to Kanye shit. Listen to some R.B. Listen to some fun dance records. I don't know. For real, cause I mean, like you can't really. I feel you too. I feel you on everything you're saying. Like it's a lot of people that can't separate music and reality mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. And, I, and then, so, I'll be caught up in some of it too. I'll be trying to live like the rapper type shit. Oh yeah, if, if, like if yeah, you feel like you are you a god. You yeah. feeling that music? It's it's cool and everything, but then you you it's can't a, reflect that. And then it's a lot where you feel like what he's saying really. <laughs> What I would say resembles or reflects what you're doing. Like if you could really relate, like oh I'm going to hit a lick and we just hit a ten. Like if you really hit a lick and you got ten bands and he rapping about that beat rocking, how you gonna feel? You, oh yeah, it's inspiring, bro. Oh, Especially like oh, it's, oh we in that band, we hit a lick for ten bread, man. Got it. Oh shit. I ain't gonna lie. There's a there's a lot of time I felt like living like Gucci. <laughs> Burn this part. <laughs> when young Jesus was talking about selling drugs again, where he had to be, I was like, hell yeah, nigga, do your thing. <laughs> Knowing damn well I'm not doing my thing like that. I'm over here 12 years old just bumping this shit though. But I'm like, bro, that's not, I'm not really doing that. Like, it inspires me, but I'm not, I shouldn't be trying to be mm-hmm. that. Niggas shouldn't be out here trying to be killers and robbers and shit Real, like that. Like, and we, I feel like we try to relive what we hear, like, 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 a lot of us, we'll see a football player. Like, oh, he put his mom on. He bought his mom. Like, oh, we're going to retry and do that. But it's the same shit for rap. Oh, he done sold this and that, robbed this and that, hit this. and I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going I'm to come up. So it's a lot of people just trying to do the same shit as somebody else versus just trying to and that was get in their bag and do Like, bro, you could get in your bag and do all this and that and the third without robbing, killing, and... Like, why the fuck you gotta hit a lick and kill, bro, just to get your ass in the studio? And that was my argument fuck, with, like, bro? this, this was it, the city girl music? Like, you don't have to be a hold of, you feel me, do all this, that, and the third. Like, I'm trying to scream this, and then Taylor hit me with that. Like, you out here listening to this rap, like, niggas <laughs> selling drugs and other things, and you not doing it, you just feeling it. I'm like, I, I, I hate when they be scared. It's credit card that nigga. What was it? Like credit card, credit card scam. I hate when swipey. I hate when bitches talk about like that. I hate when bitches talk about scheming a nigga. Ooh, I hate that. Let a bitch try to scheme me. (laughs) She already take my debit card. You don't like like what Cardi said, huh? What? What Cardi was snatching cards, nigga. That's why they call her Cardi. <laughs> oh. That shit is so clever. I'm just kidding. Bro. Oh, 
I'm just, I'm just kidding. Oh, you blew my mind. <laughs> I said this bitch is clever. <laughs> Cardi B. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But it's like these girls out here knowing they ain't. You ain't this, but you trying to portray this. Like, like I can't get mad, bro. Like, I know it's a whole bullshit lurks, bro. It's a whole bunch of bullshit that lurk in the world. But the only thing I get annoyed with is when they try to spread the bullshit and make it seem like the bullshit is okay. That makes sense. Like, if you doing some negative shit, okay, you had to do some negative shit to come Talk up, bro. That's on you. Like, I, everybody did some bad shit. I done did some bad shit. I'm not saying I'm perfect or whatever, but, like, I'm not finna be like, yeah, I did you this and that. Preach it. I did this and that bad, bro. You should do it, too. You'll come up with me. Like, I can't rap like that, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, speak your no, shit. It's just speak the shit. For real, like, 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 I fuck with Cardi, bro, but I would never be like, I never would have told anybody that shit about the scamming. I would have yeah. told y'all because I know y'all, but I would never be on like Snap or, or like you promote, media. yeah, you promote being promote that. It. Like why you why niggas yeah. out here promoting being thugs? Like no, like, you ain't trying. You tr- you out here trying to promote yeah, niggas to get like, caught up in jail? Get, get in your bag behind closed doors, but don't be out here telling everybody about it, like. Do you no, don't even do no, bro. Yeah. Don't even out here try to credit card scam. Don't here try to no, I'm not, hit bro, a I'm, lick on a bro, nigga. I'm, I'm saying yeah, don't credit card scam nobody, but bro, like who am who am I, bro? Motherfuckers gonna scam because they need bread, bro. So like, I, I'm I'm just not gonna promote it, bro. Don't live yeah. don't live yo the music you listen to, especially if it's negative. For real, like I fuck with Cardi, bro. It was just like damn, like you telling everybody else to be bad. Oh man, shit, that's the time. Shit, that's enough, bitch. You that's know what that's it is, enough, bitch. That's enough. That's Fuck you, me. You saw that we we Trick we, we, we you saw that it's been a minute, so we had to just get some shit off our chest. Spotify. Once again, we are on Spotify. I don't know if I told you guys just yet, but I got the text message this morning. We are on Spotify. You know where you can listen to that whole ass Cardi I'm playing. You can also listen to Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and if you want to listen to some positive versus that rap music, switch here. If you want to be inspired and you want to feel great about yourself and also have conversations that you could talk to your coworkers and maybe your family and friends, click here. <laughs> if you want to have some fun and you want to talk some shit, click here. <laughs> if you want to get... <laughs> oh, come and catch vibes with me, baby. If you want to catch vibes with me, baby, click, click here. here. Bitch. <laughs> then again, it's the original cast, the people that started uh, us with from before. I didn't introduce them like I usually do. Like Chris. Well, I won't introduce you. I'm like, about to Taylor. I'm going to introduce you when we're wrapping Fuck up. Fuck the outro. Fuck the outro. Taylor was here. <laughs> Krista was back at it again, holding us down. CJ, follow us on Spotify. See us on YouTube. Engage with us that I want more. Share my shit. I want some more LMR questions. <laughs> I want to expound. I want to get. I want to get different. Let's do this together, y'all. Let's make this the biggest and coldest and hottest podcast in the world. It's Halloween, bitch. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Uh, nah. And don't be the one getting tricked. <laughs> it's LMR and we out. We ain't got no candy.